Hi there. Today's recipe is this methi paneer bhurji that I make with my own twist. I serve this with paratha, puri or chapati. It's a simple recipe that you love and maybe add your own twist to it. Did you subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates? The ingredients first, methi leaves that I have blanched by just washing them with boiling hot water and then washing them again with cold water. Chop them up. Chopped onion, chopped tomatoes and chopped coriander leaves. Chopped green chilies, ginger and garlic paste or grated. Coriander powder, cumin powder and turmeric powder. Garam masala powder and Kashmiri red chilli powder. One medium sized potato boiled and grated. A few cashew nuts. Whole cumin and coriander seeds for tempering the oil and dried fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. 250 grams of paneer that I'll just crumble. You don't need to grate it. Just crumble the paneer. That's done. Oil for cooking. To the hot oil, I'll add in the cashew nuts and fry them lightly. Get them out. Add in the coriander and cumin seeds and temper the oil. As soon as they release the aroma, add the onion. Cook till the onions turn soft and pink in color. Add in the ginger garlic paste and the green chilies. Cook briefly. Lower the heat. Add in the dry spices. And the tomatoes. Salt. And cook till the tomatoes become soft. The tomatoes have disintegrated. The salt helps it. Once the oil starts separating, add in the methi. Mix it well with the masala. Add in the potato. Mix it in. Add in some water. Bring that to a boil. That's simmering. Time to add in the paneer. It is best to use full fat paneer. I'll just add in some more water and season with salt. I have not seasoned the paneer. Mix it well. If you like the recipe, do share it with your friends and post your feedback in the comment section. Give it a mix from time to time. And be gentle so as not to break up all the paneer pieces. It's always good to have a few nuggets. 
add in the chopped coriander leaves and stalk mix it in and we'll just wait for the water to dry up slightly there's still some left that has been cooking for about 3 minutes now and i see the oil at the sides which is a good sign that looks done break up the fried cashew nut into smaller pieces and add them into the paneer mix lightly and turn off the heat the kasuri methi to finish it off crush it in your palms and sprinkle it give it a final mix that's ready to plate serve it hot with puri paratha or chapati you could even make a special sandwich with this filling